Hello, Hoovers with Mr. Hoovers. An avian that ring duck, the honking of Mr. Banana Brain. And yeah, this is just a great episode, and uh, I think uh, episode you can really enjoy during uh, the Halloween time, or just uh, watching it on Halloween day. But, hmm. I mean, in this, uh, Darkwing and Gosling just start telling the stor a story about uh, when uh, Quacker, uh, Quacker Jack's uh, toy, Mr. Blam Blam got possessed by an ancient evil named Paddywhack. And there's some good moments in this, like when they uh, actually speed up the fight between. Uh, Darkwing Duck and uh, Quacker Jack, and then slow it down when uh, Darkwing gets uh, bitten in, in the tail feathers by Quacker Jack's uh, trick uh, teeth. Or trick, yeah, trick, trick teeth. Mm. And turn out they're in a, a toy museum, and the Jack of the Box that uh, Paddywhack was in was uh, there as well. He has to get released after Gosden pulled a prank. On the dark wing when he says Drake Mallard with a joy buzzer. And does continue in there for a while. And uh Quack Duck gets good this as well. That's when he gets angry that a uh, Gosden is gonna play video games rather than they look around the museum at the, the cool toys. And I do quite find it a little funny when uh Quack Duck uses uh, some putty or throw to put it at Darkwing and when uh, Gosling uh, pulls it off his face is off and he actually puts it upside down when he gets uh, to put it back on Ugh Kind of funny Anyway, when uh, Paliwak actually possessed uh, Mr. Banana Brain he says to uh, Cracker Jack go to the pizza restaurant and does a mess with some people, and that's called a food fight when a uh, Darkwing or Drake and the guns on the launch pad come over and first that Drake wasn't gonna turn to the Darkwing to stop it until some food got tossed in his own face. Yeah, and uh, Pyrak is very really peeved that Darkwing spoiled. His phones didn't even get that much of a uh, to eat with the human misery. And when he talked to the uh, Quackers Act, he knew a few times he fell off the roof they were on. Boy, that's how he, as he does as he bounces back. <laughs> and let's see, as he sucks uh, Quackers Act into uh, the uh, uh, Jack in the Box. Um, Darwin isn't believe isn't believing that Gosling was saying that's not pulling any pranks. That's how how much uh, Gosling does pull pranks and probably doesn't say a problem. And the probably said it wasn't her. Sort of a sort of a boy cry wolf sort of thing. Um, when uh, the uh, duck box is out, Darwin's uh, hideout. Uh, Paddy Wax out messing Darwin, but he thinks it's Gosling. And I have to say, uh, Paddywhack looks great, and his voice is just fantastic. I was wondering who uh, did the voice. And it seems like uh, Paddywhack is a fan of Gosling. He, he even tries to uh, take her into the uh, um, Jack in the Box, but they're uh, definitely able to uh, hold her back for a while until he launches that. Uh, some of the launch pad to grab, but turn out launch pad can't uh, pull them both. So, Darwin actually sacrifices himself to save Gosling to show how good of a daddy he is. And when he did uh, the Jack of the Box, Darwin clothes chains into one of a clown. And the Quack Jack is actually in like a suit tie and a half just being miserable. And at first, uh, Darwin was against uh, working together with Quackerjack, but 
they do have a plan of making their patty back. Miserable, yeah. Give him a taste of his own medicine. Uh, yeah, it works. And they throw the uh, jack box into the river and gets eaten by uh, a fish. And they take it over, but they, as you hear uh, Paddy Rock's voice in the water, I think it is a hint in that it might come back, but yeah, it never does. Uh, yeah, this is a great episode. I do kind of like the uh, paraphernalia back to uh, uh, Darkwing and the others bef uh, after the uh, Wilder Town story, and I kind of like that uh, Gosling's one that came up with the title. And Darwin's title just like, like uh, Phoenix Eagle just calling it the triumphant triumph of Darwin Duck. Ugh, not really good title. And how scared Longpad is getting on at one point. Yes, yeah, faints. Ugh. I threw out that Golden Party, yeah, does this a lot since he said he could know. I didn't lose my touch. Hmm. Uh, I do kind of like the argument that Darwin and Gordon have when Darwin's saying they, how is he supposed to know that uh, the last part of that uh, Richard Banner, Banner brain won't want to uh, prank them and not, not really believe in uh, Gordon and then when it says that actually happens he, he's just uh, a bit embarrassed or something. And I think it's got good show that pranking someone the way a yeah, gun does isn't really a good thing because it might embarrass them and that. And they do get the gun in trying to lighten that dark wing up since he's just a bit of a workaholic when it comes to a crime fighting. But I think it went, went too far. And uh, quite that could say uh, good as usual. And they do kind of like uh, him and Darkwing uh, uh, tormenting their uh, paddy whack in uh, the Jack in the Box. They're, they're, I think they're a good uh, comedy duo in that uh, in all scenes. And uh, all around a great episode. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.